Here's a really simple 10 foot by 16 foot deck design. And we're gonna use the 2021 International Residential Code to verify the size of this beam right here, a two two by eight beam. But the first thing we gotta do is look at the joist span because that's what determines how much load is placed on the beam. We have a 10 foot joist span. So let's go to this table, 507.6, and make sure that joist span works. We got a two by eight joist, 16 inch on center, and sure enough, we can span 11 foot 10 inches. We're only going 10 feet, so that's fine. Let's go to this table now, the maximum deck beam span table. There's three more versions of this for 50, 60 and 70 pound snow load. We're looking at the one for just a 40 pound live load. You've got different beam species on the side and different types of beams from one ply to three ply. But these folks simply want to use a two two by eight beam. They've got a 10 foot joist span and the table tells us you got a maximum beam span of six foot nine. Well, I guess they won't get to have their deck like this with that eight foot span. They're going to have to add a post or upsize the beam or do something because they got a maximum six foot nine span. But that's not the full story of the code. Let's dig deeper. So if we go back to this joist span table and we don't go so quick and we look a little further off to the right side here of the two by eight column, we see maximum cantilever. And notice a 10 foot back span, you can do a two foot six inch cantilever. So if we look at that deck again, those joists are actually able to cantilever beyond the beam by two and a half feet. That would add all of this area of deck, a 50% increase in load on the beam. Now, if we go look at the beam span table one more time and look at those tiny letters down there, those footnotes, we see this one that says beams supporting a single span of joists with or without cantilever. And that's your aha moment. Every time you size a deck beam out of the new tables from 2015, 18, and 21 IRC, you are sizing them assuming that they are carrying a full cantilevering joist. So in 2021, a new change was added to address this, this footnote J. And it says that you calculate the effective de deck joist span um, by a factor in this table I'm going to show you next. And so you see, if we look back to that beam span table, notice the terminology was effective deck joist span length, not just your actual span length. So what you're going to do is take your actual span of 10 feet, and you're going to multiply it by this factor we're about to go grab. And that'll give us our effective span that we then use to enter into these joist span columns on the beam span table. So here's that added table. And this is what the IRC thinks every beam is supporting, the span and then one-fourth the span in a cantilever. So if we look on that table here for the ratio of one-fourth the cantilever, you see we get one, and there's no change of actual to effective deck joist span. But this is with a deck that we're building, a 10-foot span with no cantilever. So we go to this column, and we see that we get a 6.66 joist span factor for no cantilever. Now you come in here, 10 times 0.66, and we'll just round that up to 7 feet to make it easy to interpolate in this part of the, of the table between 6 and 8 feet. So if we come in here and interpolate 7 feet, that's halfway between 6 and 8-foot joist spans. So it's going to be halfway between these beam spans, which is a 14-inch range. And now look, we get an eight foot, two inch maximum beam span. And lo and behold, we can do the original design. But that was a tough process. I wonder if a lot of building authorities will go through that. So another proposal was added for the 2024 IRC. And this time what we're suggesting is to take all of those joist span and cantilevers and just put them in combinations in the top of the table. You look here, there's that two, two by eight we just looked at. And we looked down this 10 foot joist span column and that's how we got that six foot nine beam span maximum. But what we now can see is an expanded bit of information. We see I, we have the option for a 10 foot joist span with zero cantilever. And there's a proposed new column to be added as that interpolated column here. And lo and behold, look, there's that eight foot 10. Sure, a lot easier to find that uh, this way than using the 2021 version. And this is why we keep developing code to make it better and more useful and easier to understand. I hope you support this code change. I hope we see this in the 2024 IRC. Thanks.